continuing with the second derivative, so let's look at this parametric function where x is x is defined as 4 sine t and y is equal to phi cos t. Okay, so the first thing is let's differentiate with respect to x and x and y with respect to t. So dx by dt is the the differentiation of sine is cos, so that will be 4 cos t. And dy by dt, the differentiation the differentiation of cos is negative sine, so this will be negative phi sine t. Okay, so from this we can say, well, dy by dx is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So let's write the formula. It's always good to write the formula. So dy by dt divided by dx by dt. dt. Okay, so which is 4 cos, sorry, 4, this is 4 sine t, sorry, minus 5 sine t, divided by uh, 4, 4 cos t. So writing this as a decimal, so this is minus 1.25, 10 t, sine t divided by cos t is, Okay. Okay, so d y by dx is minus 1.5, 10 t. So we want to find the second derivative. So let me again explain what is how to find second derivative. So d we want to find d squared y by dx squared. So that is I don't like to remember formulas, so this is basically the first, the derivative of the first derivative. So that is d by dx of dy by dx. Okay, now dy by dx is in terms of t. Okay, so you can't f differentiate uh, something in terms of t in terms of x. So I want to change this to d by dt because this is going this is in terms of t so that is same as writing d by dt of dy by dx the purpose is because this is in terms of t but you have to get this back so this t has to be cancelled and you have to get this back so that is times it by dt by dx very logical. So if you think you think about this, dt and dt gets cancelled, so that is d by dx of dy by dx. Okay, so now let's put d by dt of minus 1.25t, minus 1.25 tan t, sorry, tan t times dt by dx. So d d x by dt is 4 over, sorry, 4 cos t, so dt by dx is 1 over 4 cos t, so 1 over 4 cos t. Okay, now the differentiation of tan is 6 squared, so, so d by dt of 1 point, minus 1.25 tan t would be minus 1.25 6 squared t, 6 squared t times or divided by 4 okay I'll do it t times can you write this is same as 0 0.25 sec t because 1 over cos t is sec t so and 1 quarter is 0.25 so 0.25 sec t secant of t okay so we can say dy d squared y by dx squared which is again in terms of t because it's a parametric function and the parameter is parameter is t so minus so let me use my calculator can't do so minus 1.25 or let me do 1.25 1.25 times 0.25 equals 0 0.3125 so 
that is minus 0 0.3125 you got 6 squared t times sec t is going to be sec cube t okay so and if you want to write this in cos because in your calculator you don't have a, a key for cos sorry for sec so this is same as minus 0 0.3125 and the reciprocal of sec is cos, so that's divided by cos cube t. And then you can use your calculator to check what will be the gradient when t is 0, say. Okay. So is the function defined? Yes, the function is defined at 0. So that will, that's how you can check your answer.